we have here in Alpharetta, and we may be today retiring maybe the most famous officer we've ever had here. So uh, definitely a unique situation. But when I came um, in January 2017, Chief George was still here. We, we overlapped for a month, and so it was like my second week here. I showed up for the Appreciation Awards luncheon and, and was there, and all of a sudden I'm seeing a dog get the officer of the year and i'm like what in the world you know and of course i, I didn't know I, and I'm, a, I'm a dog lover if you don't know me i love dogs i'm a huge dog lover i have them at home raised with them huge uh, appreciator of canines and law enforcement and what they bring but i was like seriously you're giving you know the uh, officer of the year to a dog yeah. i didn't get it then i get it now this dog is unbelievable like no other dog i've ever seen in, in, in this profession, uh, and he is he's truly world-renowned and, and with good reason. Um, from my perspective, you know, I love our canines in that they, our goal is to have a dog that's really, really good at what they do police-wise, you know, tactically and catching bad guys and finding drugs, right? But also, we love to have dogs that have the, the, the ability to integrate with people and be a part of the community and engage as a dog can engage with people. And, you know, people love animals and love dogs especially. And I've never seen a dog like Mattis that embodies both of those. I mean, he's literally as good as any dog I've ever seen at the, the, the police side, the catching bad guys and drugs, but also being a valued part of the partnership we have with our community and, and also becoming almost a mascot for our department in a lot of ways. So he's just unbelievable. And um, a lot of credit has to go to, to his handler, Sergeant Tappan, who's done a phenomenal job training him over the years. and. Of course, they have a bond like no other, and I'm sure Mark can share about that in just, in just a minute. But um, so he, he's he's going to be a tough one to replace. I'm not sure we'll ever be able to, but he has truly helped keep our citizens safe here in the last several years, and he's truly helped us strengthen and build a, a strong bond with the community we serve. And so, from my position, I got to tell you, I'm grateful for that, and I'm grateful for the work Mark's put in with him, and uh, and he's going to be missed. I know. Major Lindgren and Captain Stewart had a couple quick things they were going to say, and then uh, I'll read this and let Tap and talk for a minute as well. Uh, all right, Mark, hang in there, man. Just a couple more minutes. <laughs> uh, two things, two things I, that, that I remember specifically about Mattis. One is the day that, that we went out and picked him. It was probably one of the most enjoyable days of my career. I know it wasn't his, but uh, we went out there. We put a bunch of dogs. We spent the whole day out in Alabama putting all these dogs through testing and everything. And it got to the end of the day, and, and Mark's got to make a decision. And he's like, it's like, he's like, I want this one. And I said, Mark, are you sure? I said, that's a big dog. <laughs> I was like, are you sure you want this dog? There's this really nice little Malinois that's it's more your size. <laughs> and, uh, and he says, no, no, I got to have it. And so I questioned his judgment because I was like, you're going to have to carry that thing. You know, it's, it's more like a pony. But, um, but Mark, you were 100% right. And then the next thing that I remember most vividly was the first time that you made me take a bite from him. And so Mark, ever, he likes to have fun. He stuck me in a shed up at the, up at the skate park up there in the in pitch black dark, and then sent this beast in to find me. And um, I'm not really afraid of getting bit by dogs, but I, I was pretty dang terrified that day. And uh, that dog bites harder than any dog I've ever felt. And he, you feel every square inch of him when he gets a hold of you. He, he, he means it. But he's also, he's also just one of the nicest and just the most well, even tempered dogs that you'll ever meet. So it's been a, it's been a real pleasure getting to see what you guys were able to accomplish together. And, um, you know, we're, we're grateful to have had this time with you guys together. So, you know, best of luck in the, in the next phase. I know that you guys will have a lot of fun uh, in retirement. I know I'm still having fun with my dog in retirement and just hopefully you get as much time as I've had with mine. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Captain Stewart. So, uh, Mark, Mark's told a story uh, several times, and I've seen it on TikTok, and it was one of those things that when I saw it, I was like, hey, I was there for that. And uh, this was this was the day that uh, Mark had uh, chased some, some bad guys, and one guy jumped out of his car and, and jumped over a wall, and uh, he, uh, he popped the door, and Mattis came out, mm -hmm. and as Mattis went over the wall, Mark almost went over the wall, and he was like, nah, I think that's like a 40-foot drop or something, and he stopped at the last second, and he didn't. But, but Mattis went over the wall and, and landed on the bad guy as they went down, and I, I showed up along with uh, another officer, and, and I was like, where'd he go? And he's like, down there. I was like, oh, no. 
Uh, so we ended up, me and the other guy, got down there to where the bad guy was, and Mattis was just like kind of guarding him. Um, and we, we handcuffed him and got him out of there. And then uh, Mark had, a, there was a second bad guy nearby and scooped up Mattis, went over there. Mattis got that, ba that bad guy. Uh, and then uh, we realized Mattis had a little injury and had to go to the hospital. And uh, that, was, that was a very tense moment for Mark, but uh, you know, surgery was successful and, and Mattis came through uh, just fine. But that was uh, one of those moments where you, know, you see him telling a story to the entire world, and I was like, I was there. But uh, you know, amazing, amazing uh, animal that uh, caught two people and uh, did a did a fine job doing it. So that's my story, and Mark, uh, you know, I'm not sure how we're going to top this. So. Thank you, thank you, Kevin. So we got a presentation here uh, that we want to give to Mattis, so that he can hang in his uh, office. I'm sure he has at home. So. Um, I'm going to read this to you, what it says, and then Mark, if you have anything you want to share, uh, we would love to hear from you. So, K9 Mattis was born in Slovakia in 2013. He was acquired by a private company in the United States and began training in Alabama. Upon completion, Mattis was acquired and started his own tour of duty as an Alfred of Police K9 in August of 2015. During his exceptional career, Mattis was responsible for over 200 arrests. K9 Mattis became a national celebrity and social sensation after he received the Purple Heart of Valor for injuries sustained in the line of duty. In addition to his rigorous canine duties, Mattis appeared on appeared on and won America's Top Dog episode four and was the runner up of the champions of the champions. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. So close. We were all watching. We were all watching. K9 Mattis also appeared on Entertainment Tonight, Good Morning America, Fox and Friends, True Crime, and Live PD, and in the HBO series The Watchmen. K9 Mattis and his handler, Sergeant Mark Tappan, have raised over two hundred thousand dollars for charity, which I think is phenomenal, while providing hundreds of demonstrations and making friends in person and on social media around the world. We honor K-9 Mattis upon being placed into retirement status on March 17, 2021. I would hand this to you, but, oh, and almost broke it. Classic. That would have been classic, yes. Yeah, so. Mark, we appreciate you and what you've done with Mattis, and I'll let you share a couple words if you'd like. He's gonna play with the major, I'll do that. Um, I don't, so the, the mission statement when the chief came, um, he said it's to enhance the quality of life for those who live, work, and play in the city of Alpharetta. And uh, I think Mattis has done a pretty good job, of, of not just in Alpharetta, but uh, he's brought people together. And uh, that's the power of canine, right? And I see some handlers that are here and they can tell you it's the best job in the world you get to go to work with your best friend but the unspoken thing that it does is it brings people together uh, people love dogs and i saw an opportunity and i had leadership that was wise enough to to go with me to get on social media to make it a priority as my handlers we talked about was we want to be excellent in three areas one was in training one was in deployments, and the third was in community relations. We took that very seriously, that those were our three areas that we had to be good at. And at least one third of our job was this. I am blown away by all of you being here uh, in support for a dog who happens to be my best friend. Tomorrow's gonna be hard when I go to work without him. But I have been very blessed to be able to work with this amazing furry animal for six years. So thank you for letting me work with you. Absolutely. And thank you, you guys for being here. Thank you all. So again, it means a lot of our folks here and then you and the community coming out. Thank you so much for being here. Please come by, get a couple pictures, and um, we'll, uh, we'll wish him well, hopefully many, many years of uh, enjoying retirement. So thank you so much and have a great day. Appreciate you being here.